whether you are 100% PNT, combined, or TDIU, you need to be mindful of what comes next. Whiskey 9, Yankee, 7 November, golf, Robert. To get this out of the way, if you're 100% PNT, the VA will not randomly touch your rating. Can they technically take away your rating? Yes, but I've only seen this when the VA makes a clear, unmistakable error, meaning they messed up, or in cases of fraud, which is extremely rare. What comes after you receive your 100% rating? Three things really come to mind here, and starting with number three, it's gonna be claiming those juicy benefits. This is everything from state benefits and property tax exemptions to getting discounted Disney tickets. I'm gonna link a video in the top of the comments that shows you every single benefit for 100% PNT. Number two is special monthly compensations, and this one gets a little tricky. Some people might disagree or caution those with 100% rating to claim SMCs, but my view is if your evidence is airtight and you qualify and rate that SMC, go for it. Every veteran should make it their personal goal to get what they've earned and what they're entitled to and be properly rated to include SMCs. The most common SMC is probably SMCK, which is erectile dysfunction or female arousal disorder. SMCs are an extra boost, so to speak, to your monthly compensation. For SMCK, it's an extra $128. There are many SMCs and some pay more than others. And number one on this list is seek the care you need. You are 100% for a reason. And over time, it's more than likely that your health is only going to decrease. It is so important that us veterans take care of ourselves so we can be with our family and be present when we're with our family. I am very serious about this, whether that's going through the VA healthcare system and seeking treatment with them or finding a private doctor and seeking treatment that way. Do everything in your power to be present with your family.